Hey everyone, this is Stamping Songbird. We're here to do our last 6x6 layout using a pet. So today we're going to work out with Max. So our first one, just to remind you, was with Luke. Our second layout was with Max. Our third layout just gonna grab it here was with Luke again and I'll put both layouts with Luke side by side hopefully that's in frame and all of these were using cut files this layout was using cut files from uh, treasure box designs these two were Cricut cut files and today we're going to go back to a picture of Luke, I'm sorry, Max. And uh, we're not going to use any cut files today. No cut files today. We're going to go back to traditional um, scrapbooking layouts. And I know it's six by six. It's really tiny, but we're going to go back to traditional. Um, what I like to do is just using paper, maybe some ribbon. And that's it. Very simple. Because if you don't have a Cricut, you don't have a cutting machine of any kind and how are you going to do those cutesy little things and make all this, that stuff you can there are other alternatives and I can show you that in another video but today I'm going to take a really cute picture of Max and uh, we're not going to use any cut files at all so here's um, the next picture that we're going to use of Max uh, my uncle's dog it's a closer picture it almost looks like he's smiling He's such a cutie pie. I believe this was on Christmas, uh, which is why my uncle put a little red and gold bow on him. So we're going to use this picture. It's a lot clearer than the ones that I had before that I was choosing from. We're going to continue with the 6x6 navy blue recollection 65 pound um, paper as our base. I'm still using the, and I always have it out of reach every time I try to film a video. Uh, the 6x6 six six, uh, paper pad, I Love My Dog from Echo Park. So we're using this print as our base, and it's cut at 5 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters. The back of it has um, some cutouts. We're not using that. We're just going to use this diamond um, design on the other side, which is uh, baby blue with white diamonds. So let's just put that to the side. So that's cut at five and three quarters by five and three quarters. So again, I'm using my Barely Art Precision Glue. I know that I did a video with lots of different glues, but this is the one that I'm using now because I'm doing layouts. It does give me wiggle room. The zip dry, I feel like it takes too long to set. And I don't want to sit here holding it down. Um, although it is a good glue for scrapbooking so maybe I'll use it on other layouts but not right now and then my number one favorite is the art glitter glue but um, I need some wiggle room and that one dries way too fast so I'll use that one when I need to hold something down that's it needs to be held down quick and strong really really strong okay so there's our base um, again we're not using any cut files today <clears throat> so I've already matted his photo with um, some of that navy blue 65 pound recollections paper again I don't have measurements for the pictures I print them out on my Canon selfie and then I just glue them onto the base paper and then I cut around it so there are no measurements um, I took some uh, another piece of the red designer paper from that pack and again I didn't measure what I did was is that I held the picture over it and then just cut around it just so that there was some um, border around it so you see that the top and the bottom don't have a lot of border right but the sides do and that's okay because I'm not going to use it this way you'll see so I'm actually going to um, hold off on putting this here for a second because like I said we're going to go a little traditional I cut a piece of ribbon this is from an old 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 ribbon from stamping up an old spool uh, let's see if I can even read it it's midnight muse from stamping up and it has this stitched it's satin stitched it's really old I haven't worked with stamping up in a long time not because I don't like them just because 
I just stopped being a demonstrator for other reasons, not because I don't like the company, I do like the company. So I'm just gonna put this here on the side. Again, this is very, very, very traditional. If you don't like traditional, then this is not for you. But if you're the kind of person that likes different styles, then, then yeah, then that's good. Or if you're the kind that says, listen, I don't wanna deal with cut files or I don't wanna buy a, um, a cutting machine. I just wanna do something quick and simple that's cute. Then this is the way to go. If you only wanna deal with paper, then this is the way to go. And I like doing simple, simple designs. So that goes there with just some tape. If you want, you can put a little glue in the bottom to hold it down, in the center to hold it down. You don't have to. Um, then I took another piece of the ribbon and I created a little bow off camera. And um, just a quick tip, when you're making bows, don't cut the ribbon off of the spool first create the bow while it's on the spool I don't know why it's actually easier to do that I don't know what the scientific uh, reasoning is behind it but it actually helps you create the bow easier I don't know why it just does so I've never glued um, any bows on before with this wet glue so this is my first time trying it I hope it sticks I usually use glue dots, but I don't have any glue dots. I should have thought of that before. So, oh well. Let's see. I hope it works. Barely, um, our glue is pretty strong, so... I don't know. For this, I would have used the Art Institute glue. But, eesh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to hold. Sometimes, um... Oh, shoot. You know what I should have used? Darn is the reptile glue because this sucker is for lots of different um, different things like glass and wood see how it's not sticking let's see if let's try it let's try it I don't know if after using I have like no strength no strength whatsoever in this arm it's just so frustrating like I can't see I cannot squeeze and I'm not a lefty so it's hard for me Ugh. anyone who's ever had an injury see the glue's there it's just I cannot get it out because my arm is so bad whoa well that just went into the garbage let's see if I just poke the hole a little bit more if it'll help Ugh. there we go maybe that'll help hallelujah there we go haha -ha. please work this should work why wouldn't it work okay I need to dig out um, my glue from the garbage Oh, it already feels a little firmer than um, than the earlier. Okay, so now we know. Reptile glue for ribbons. Okay, so hopefully that sticks in the next couple of seconds. Let's. Um, so this is not going to stay straight like this. We're going to take the photo and we're going to have the photo straight, and then we're going to turn this. And that's very traditional, very traditional. See, because you don't want the picture to be crooked and then this straight, because I know you might want to have like that straight because that kind of makes sense to have straight lines, but then your photo is crooked, unless you're okay with that, but I'm not okay with having him crooked. I'd rather have him straight and then have this slanted. See what I mean? I'd rather have him straight and have this slanted. So this is going to go this way so I'm going to trust that that is already there I might need a few more minutes but I think we're okay to start gluing down let's turn this bad boy around there goes my cat again making noise I swear when she hears me on camera she thinks I'm talking to her she wants to be all up in my business even when I when I'm on the phone if I call my husband or he calls me it's like she's meowing, but it sounds like she's saying, what? 
Huh? <clears throat> like she wants to be all up in the conversation. Oh. Okay, I'm doing this and my arm is throbbing. Oh, sugar, sugar. I forgot something. Oh, okay. I'm going to do this real quick. Hopefully that has not stuck down. See, this is another reason why it's good not, it was good for me not to use the Art Institute glue because this would have already been stuck. Actually, it was already sticking. I did this little strip here. I forgot to put it down. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so this, darn it. Let's grab the ruler. It's a whole bunch of mistakes. Lots of bloopers today. So this strip is six inches long, the blue and the plaid. The blue is one and a half by six, and then the plaid is one and three quarters by six. So um, as I was planning it, I was thinking it needed a little bit more color, and I had used the plaid on one of the others. I used it on Luke, actually, but I thought it looked nice here. I thought I used it on Max, but I didn't. Okay, never mind. I thought the plaid looked nice here. Okay, now we're good to go. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so now he is going to go tucked. His corner is going to go tucked behind the ribbon there, and he's going to go straight. So you got to make sure he's nice and straight. Oh, cover up your glue, people. Cover up your glue. Okay, he's going to go there. Looks like there's more or less an even space from the top to the bottom. So now, should I pop him up? Make him stand out a little bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking I'm going to put blue dots in this corner because because of this paper, it makes this side, like the, the paper on this side, like not reach that part so well. I hate using so many uh, little glue dots for one spot, but whatever. I'm supposed to be getting ready for work right now, and here I am filming this, and my arm is throbbing, throbbing. Okay, we are good to go. So now, let's um, remove this before. I'm still working remotely. Thankfully, I hope everyone's been safe and healthy, most of all. Um, it's been quite a year, quite a year. And this, um, Keeps my mind off of things. Keeps me sane. Vaya, vaya. Ay, que lindo. Ese perrito. What a cute, cute, cute little doggy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, no. Oh, if only I could have a doggy. Okay, we're almost done. I'm so loving this page. No cut files whatsoever. Okay, so in keeping with tradition, let's throw some buttons up in there. I got a whole bunch of buttons here. Don't ask me where I got these buttons. Or I don't even know. I do not remember. I've got no clue. I'm thinking let's do the small buttons. We can go with blue, yellow. If I could find a red one. Is that red? Does that look red? Could that pass for red? I want to go with the big ones because that's way too big. It's a six by six. So normally you want to go in groups of three, clusters of three, because that looks the best. 
when you're doing clusters. According to my friends who are of Chinese descent, I don't know if it is the same for other Asian cultures, but she says that three is a sign of good luck. So you always want to do things in threes. According to interior designers, threes always look best as well. So we're going to go that route. I don't think this is red. I think this is brown. But I cannot tell the difference, but I'm going to go with it anyway. So the threes, we want to cluster them in the corner, either like that. We can put them here straight. Let's see. What do we do? I'm kind of liking it here. Because I feel like there's a lot here. So that's what we're going to do. And I like the dark in the middle. We're going to go with the reptile glue again because it is good for ceramics, woods, plastics, glass, cardboards, etc. And this is plastic. So we're going to go that route. I'm not going to put a lot because I don't want it to squeeze through. Although I think it will dry clear. There you go. Again, still using the I Love My Dog paper from Echo Park, not using any cut files for this um, layout. It is just a 6x6. Six six. Not a lot of people do 6x6. Six six. I love this teeny tiny um, size because you can carry it around in an album. You don't have to do too much. It's still cute. You just have to uh, trim down your photos, but otherwise, I think it's a good size. Alrighty, I think we are done with Mr. Max. Max is done. And that's it. That's our second uh, picture of Max, our second 6x6 layout of Max. And it is our last of our dog 6x6 layout. So just as a reminder, let's grab Mr. Max. And uh, if you were doing an album, then you would want them to match at least a little bit, but not really doing an album my uncle can have these you can put them in the house here's the first one of max <clears throat> using cut files from the cricket store man's best friend here's the second layout of max with no cut files and just using paper from echo park there we go i hope you liked it until next time bye bye